race is one of those topics. it's a ah type of reality in which there are no simple answers and when you discuss race, you you have to really contextualize it. you have to place it in a certain geography, not only in terms of a particular nation but in terms of a region in the united states, for instance, there is a type of racial tension that exists in the northeast that historically has not existed in the south. and then of course in the southeast whether fairly or unfairly there have been those certain racial tensions for which the the southeast of the united states is primarily known that being said it's interesting in which persons assume that the southwest or the northeast or the midwest is somehow more progressive i think the type of racial tension we find outside of the southeast is a bit more subdued but it's definitely there in terms of race, it's the issue that i think as a species we will never completely overcome until we encounter say another species another means to which we can discriminate or separate from someone because one, racism is profitable there's a lot of profit in divisive rhetoric there's a lot of profit and there's a lot of gain found in attacking a particular group one of the easiest ways to organize people is to organize people against another group of people you can organize people against something but when you can organize people against another group of people you pull on passions and emotions that cause people to stop thinking and there's a lot of profit in that if you can generate enough of a frenzy we've seen that in this country since the election of president obama in ways that we haven't seen i say in probably um thirty or forty years probably not since the twentieth century american civil rights movement and i i say that because we had a civil rights movement in the united states in the late nineteenth century um following the american civil war which most people um tend to completely overlook in lieu of the twentieth century civil rights movement but again my feeling on race is until we can find a way to make it more profitable to make it more acceptable to be daring enough to reach across a certain line to be that courageous person to be that branch ricky if you will in a particular situation until we can make it fashionable and place persons in vogue who dare to say i'm going to be the one person not to sit at this table where everyone looks like me but i'm going to dare to sit at the next table and to inculcate that in generation after generation after generation then we'll stop talking about race and then we can concentrate on what i think is going to be the bigger problem in the future classism and economic disparities but um in terms of race it's still a problem it's going to be a problem that's just the way it is and racism not only works on an external level in terms of if you're just talking about persons of european descent or african descent or asian descent or latin descent but when you start talking about um intra-racial strife um, within the black community you have african americans you may have haitian americans you may have persons who are actually from haiti who are from jamaica who are from the continent of africa persons from ghana persons from nigeria yes we are all in terms of um, describing us ethnically black but within that cultural milieu there's a lot of tension there and even then amongst african americans there's a lot of tension when you talk about economic levels when you talk about educational levels um, Dr. Michael Eric Dyson calls this the tension between the aristocracy and the ghettocracy. I think that's probably one of the best descriptions and best terms that I've heard coining sort of the strife that we have experienced even within the black American community or the African American community. So I think again race is something we will always have to wrestle with and as long as we keep wrestling with it then we can live with it, live through it and make it less of a problem and make it sort of the ground swell or at least the seedbed through which we have some productive and positive discussions about how we live together both peacefully and peaceably.